Panlasa ni Tisoy. I have a special guest with me today. He likes to learn how to cook, so I told him, come join me in my videos. So he used to have a channel when he was little. It was called Miles and Me. But now he wants to join in my cooking at least for today. And I asked him, would you like to eat the food I'm cooking? He goes, uh, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm making adobo. But it's just, it's not just adobo. It's liver, chicken liver, and gizzards adobo. There's some vitamins and minerals in liver and gizzards. Number one, protein, you know, for the gizzards. And the liver has a lot of iron. So there's health benefits for it. So it's worth a try, right? But uh, that's what I'm going to make tonight. And uh, Miles is going to help me make the food, right, Miles? So you want to say anything, Miles? No? He's still kind of shy. When he had the channel, he wasn't shy at all, believe me. Right, Miles? Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to cook this dish. I hope you guys like it. Ingredients for this dish. 2.30 pounds of chicken gizzards. 2 pounds of chicken liver. Ground pepper. Oil. In this case, avocado oil. Sugar cane vinegar. Soy sauce. And some minced garlic. Okay, so make sure you guys wash your gizzards, all right? I always do, and I use my hand. You don't have to. I prefer getting my hands dirty. We're gonna boil our gizzards first. So when you put it with the liver, it'll be softer. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard gizzards when you're cooking it, and the liver is gonna dissolve. Because liver is quick. It cooks quick. Anyways, we're gonna cover that up. So, I washed the liver, but I'm gonna put salt to get rid of that uh, liver taste or bitter taste. All right, so let's check this out. Oh yeah. We're gonna check if this thing is soft enough for cooking. It's still kind of hard, so we're gonna keep boiling it for a little while still. So we put it on medium heat and let it boil some more. Okay, let's check this out. This is after two minutes. Oh yeah, so it's soft now. It's soft enough to cook. So we're gonna drain this and get it ready for the next step of uh, cooking the liver with it. We're actually gonna cook this uh, liver on a heated pot and for about probably two tablespoons of uh, oil. Any oil would do. So we're gonna saute our garlic. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of garlic here. I forgot to mention on the ingredients. We're gonna add one bay leaf just for aromatic but you don't have to put this if you don't want to i just want it for the aromatic now we're gonna put our gizzard our boiled gizzard Let that uh, saute or simmer for a little while. We're gonna cover it up. Probably gonna add about a cup of water. 
Let it boil for a little while. All right, so let's check the gizzards. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So now we can put we can put some we can put the liver in. And liver cooks really quick. I think three minutes for the liver or more. You don't want to over overcook it because it takes tends to break down. So now we're gonna put some soy sauce. I would say about a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. Mix that. If we have to add a little bit more later, we will. And then we're gonna put some ground pepper. Some people like to use peppercorn. You can do that too. But I have people in my family that don't like don't like to bite into peppercorn. I don't mind it, but there's some members of my family that don't like biting into the peppercorn. Now we're gonna put the vinegar. Okay, the secret with the vinegar is like any other adobo, once you put your vinegar, you let it boil before or let it cook before you mix it. So we cover it up. Let it sit for a little while. Okay, so let's check this out. Now it's boiling, so we can lower the heat. Put it on medium so we don't burn the bottom. And now you can mix it because the vinegar is already boiling. Very pretty easy uh, dish to cook, guys. Okay, almost done. We'll just cook the liver a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna check this out. Mix it a little bit. So as an option, guys, we can add oyster sauce. Just for flavor. See, if you can see some of the liver not quite ready yet, so gotta cook it a little bit more because you can see still see some redness in there so we're gonna add some oyster sauce now about a tablespoon this is an option if you don't want to put oyster sauce that's okay too I just like oyster sauce on my adobo Cover it up, put it on medium heat so we don't burn the whole thing. Okay, so should be ready, but we're gonna add a little bit more soy sauce, probably another, another tablespoon, a little bit more of oyster sauce, probably a teaspoon of oyster sauce, and then a little bit more of vinegar and of course we're gonna wait till it boils don't mix it let it boil for a little while oh we're gonna add some more ground pepper too so the vinegar I just added about a teaspoon okay oh yeah it should be ready. So we just gotta do a taste test on this thing. And then we're done. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. Are you ready, Miles? All right. This is Miles' first time to have liver 
and gizzards. He said if he doesn't like it, you know, I told him it's fine if you don't like it. You have to try somehow. Let me get that out. He's gonna get a piece of liver here. And then some adobo soup sauce. All right, Miles, are you ready? Let me blow it for you. Yeah? No? Not for you? Yeah? No? Not for you? Let me try. It's good! It's an acquired taste. I'm gonna try the gizzard. Chewy. Probably need to cook it a little bit more. But let me try the sauce. Mmm. Good. Tastes like adobo. You wanna try the gizzards? No. They'll pass. So Miles did a good job. He was my camera guy this time, but next time he's gonna cook with me, right? Say goodbye. Say something. Speak up. Bye, everybody. Aloha.